what goes on in the VIP room, and why do some girls make thousands of dollars in the strip club? Like, what are you really doing to make this much money, you know? To make someone spend five hours in the VIP with you, six hours, and the tip you a thousand, tip you 500, tip you have to. I'm doing more than fine, I get money all the time. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it is your first time. So today's video is going to be a chit chat video, you guys. I am going to be telling you guys what really happens in the VIP room in the booty club y'all you guys aren't already subscribed make sure you guys hit that subscribe button make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and by the way if you hear any animal noises in the background i have a puppy and a kitty um my cat is in heat so she's extra spicy she's been extra loud so if you hear my cat in the background she's not hurt she's not sick she's just in heat and if you hear my dog in the background, then she's just spoiled and she just likes attention. But today we are going to be talking about what really goes on in the VIP. And I have written some notes down because it has come to my attention that some of the girlies and some of the guys too are really suspicious about what goes on in the VIP room and why do some girls make thousands of dollars in the strip club like... What are you really doing to make this much money, you know? Like, so I'm really gonna get into it today. I'm really gonna talk about it. And yeah, let's get into the video. So I have notes on my phone. So if you see me looking at my phone, I'm just actually looking at my notes that I wrote for you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna be telling you guys the plain, simple truth about what goes on in the VIP. So first off, let's start with the pricing. So VIP pricing is usually based on set amounts of time. So I'm going to tell you what my club charges and then I'm going to tell you how some other clubs like, you know, charge their pricing. So my club does 15 minutes, 30 minutes and an hour. OK, so we have two different hours and I'm going to start from the highest to the lowest, as you should always do when you're talking to customers. Um, you should always start from the highest to the lowest. Um, so my club's first hour is a private hour, and it's four eighty. And then the customer has to pay one forty four to the club. And then my other, the other private hour is six hundred, and the customer has to pay two sixty to the club. And that is for drinks. So that is the hour VIP pricing. And then the 30 minutes goes for $240 and then $72 for the club the customer has to pay. And the 15 minute VIP goes for $120, which the customer has to pay $45 to the club. So basically 15 minutes, $120, 30 minutes, $240, an hour, $480, and then a private hour, $600. So that's the VIP pricing for the club. Now, a lot of people might be like $500 for an hour. You know, that's a lot, you know, and it really just depends on what state you live in or where you dance. Because in Vegas, there are certain clubs where you can charge whatever you want. You can charge $700 for 15 minutes. You know, you can charge $1,500 for... 30 minutes you know my club has a limit to what the customer can tip so if you do an hour for 600 the customer can tip you up to $600 on the credit card which comes out to $1,200 for an hour and honestly the hours at my club are not as expensive as the hours at some of the other clubs that I've worked at so the old club that I used to work at you could actually charge 500 it, no it was a 500 dollars minimum for a 30 minute vip and um it was recommended to charge between 500 to 700 dollars but the least you could charge was 500 dollars right and then um for an hour you could start at 800 dollars 
um, recommended you start at a thousand and for the hour pretty much you can run the transaction at that club hey Prada so for the hour at that club you can run the transaction for up to three thousand dollars so you can earn up to three thousand dollars an hour at the club that I used to work at now my club hour goes for six hundred dollars max plus a six hundred dollar tip but if the customer is giving you cash they can give you as much cash it's between you and the customer but the club is very clear about the pricing and they make it known that every girl charges the same price so it's not like you know you can lie to the customer and tell at my club that I work at right now it's not like you can really lie to the customer and tell them it's one price when it's another so all the prices are the same for the all the girls so basically what i offer in the vip room it's a private dance so my lab dances go for 40 dollars a song okay now if the guy some girls charge 20 dollars, which messes up my hustle because when i tell them 40 dollars and the last girl told them 20 dollars, then they're looking at me like why is this girl charging me double what the other girl charged me? You know, she's trying to finesse me. So if they tell me, oh, $40 for one dance is too much, then I charge $30. But I'll make an offer to them. I'll do three songs for 100 But if the guy is being cheap and he only wants to do $30 dances, then I will do four four dances for $100. But either way, I really come up to customers like if you don't want to go to the VIP, it's $100 minimum, you're going to get three dances or you can get a $40 dance. And then I'll work down to a $30 dance if they're being cheap, but I need to get something pretty much out of every interaction. So I'll kind of like work with the customer a little bit if they're being cheap. But yeah, so you have to make a note in your mind if you are a dancer that it is expensive to talk to you from the moment a customer lays their eyes upon you. They are going to buy a dance. They are going to get a VIP. They are going to give you some type of money. They are going to give you a tip or something. You have to have it in your mind that it's expensive to talk to you. Another note that I have is guys don't always spend money expecting something in return, okay? Guys will literally give you money just because they want to, just because you asked. Like, I sometimes, you know, you could just be like, do you have $40? We could do a dance. Or can I have this? Like, do you have this? We can go do a VIP. Like, how much do you have this? You know, sometimes you just need to ask. Sometimes, like, guys will just tip you just because. The most money that I've ever made in a night was just because like they don't guys don't always spend money expecting something in return so some people will be like oh five hundred dollars for an hour like you know what are they what are you doing what are they you know da -da 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 -da, all of this type of stuff but sometimes you will literally sit in a vip and put your feet up like this and if your club has food if your club has a restaurant they will literally order you food to the VIP. Like, guys don't always, you know, expect you to do the most. Sometimes you, you know. The key to that is working at a club that is able to attract good customers, wealthy customers, good clientele. You know, you don't want frugal customers in there. You don't want a club that's doing $5 dances every every day, $10 dances, you know, $1 drinks every, just to get customers in the door. You don't want to work at that type of club cuz imagine you are a server at a five-star restaurant versus if you are a server at McDonald's. Obviously, you're not going to be making the same amount of money. So not all strip clubs are created equal. So another tip I have for dancers is to work in luxury clubs that attract generous men. So sometimes guys will literally give you $1,000, $500 as a tip for nothing or just because you asked for it. And the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. Okay, so that's the rundown for pricing. Um, usually I will try to sell the $600 for an hour or $240 for 30 minutes. And then I will always ask for the tip. I will always ask for a tip at the end of my dances. <clears throat> so how to sell a VIP. So some girls feel like, oh, do I have to convince them to get a VIP? You know, I don't want to do that. And honestly, yes, you do. You know, this, the gentleman's club is a place where you have to use your mouthpiece and you have to, you know, 
figure out if you are with the right customer, figure out what your customer can afford and try to get your customer to give you that money, you know? So never ever lie to sell VIPs. Always dance around, you know? Just say, oh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be private and you're gonna love it. And nine times out of 10, they'll be like, okay, do they take credit card? You know, these guys know that it's a fantasy. They know that they're there to have a good time. And yeah, um, don't lie to sell VIPs. Just dance around the question. It's part of the hustle. It's part of the hustle. You, yes, you do have to convince them to get in the VIP with you. It's part of the hustle. Okay, so now what actually happens in the VIP, like once you got the credit card, you got your money, your $1,000, your $500, your, you know, $250, whatever you got for the VIP, you know, you ask the customer to get out the tip beforehand, and now they're taking you to a private area. So for my club, the 30-minute VIPs are not in no type of room, no type of nowhere. They're in a booth-like area, you know? So it's private, but it's not like, you know, you're locked in a cage in a room with the customer, you know? It's like dark back there. It's an ambiance, you know? You're gonna be able to see other people dancing. You do get your own space, but it is a lap dance area. The 30 minute VIP at my club is not like a fully private area where nobody can like see you, you know? Some clubs do have fully private 30 minutes. Uh, my old club did, that just depends, but yeah. Um, now the hour in my club is what's private, so that's good because you're gonna wanna tell the customers, hey, like, I wanna do an hour with you because this is the most private, you know, this is the champagne room, you know. I want you to give me $600 plus a $400 tip and it's gonna be this much for the room. You know, It's behind a curtain, first the waitress comes and she's gonna ask you what you wanna drink, she's gonna bring our cocktails, or our champagne, whatever we order. It's a champagne room, so you have to purchase alcohol to be in there. So a majority of the time I'm in the VIP with a customer, I'm dancing, drinking, or talking to them. So I'll usually start out by dancing for a few minutes, you know, and then you take your top off, you dance for a few more minutes, and then you have a conversation with them, you know, you talk to them, you know, you can ask them about their life, you know, it depends on the type of connection that you have with the customer, you know, you take a break, have a sip of your drink, you know, and then you dance again for about 10, 15 more minutes. So I will say like 60 to 70% of the time that I'm in the VIP room, I am dancing. The other 30 to 40% of the time I'm talking to the customer, asking them how their day was, asking them what brings them in town, ask them what brought them here, what what made them want to come to the club tonight, you know, what type of experience they're looking for, you know, are they married, you know, are they like in a relationship, you know, what type of experiences do they like to have, you know, you really have to seduce them, you really have to be a seductive queen, you know, to make someone spend five hours in the VIP with you, six hours in the tip you a thousand, tip you 500, tip you have to have to be seductive and you have to know how to turn them on. Doing extras or, you know, promising to do extras or anything like that is not going to make someone tip you $500, $1,000 because they know they could get extras for cheap anywhere if they wanted to. Half of these guys have wives at home. So no, they don't go out for cheap extras because, you know, they have girlfriends. They come out for entertainment. They come out to be hustled. They come out to spend money. They save money to come out to these clubs. You know, guys will come to the club and spend $10,000, $20,000, run their credit card for $100,000. Like, and the reason why they do this is because they just want to, you know, guys gamble thousands of dollars at the club. So for you as a dancer, you have to believe that, that you're worth that money and you deserve that money. If you feel like you need to do the most in the club just to make money or you need to lie to sell VIPs, which I have done before when I was young, but I would never do it again, y'all. 
you feel like that's what you have to do to make money i suggest you either level up your club level up yourself or just you know i don't know what you need to do you need to figure it out but as a dancer your worth should be 500 dollars per hour minimum you should be asking for a tip you should not be giving a deal to customers and screwing up other girls hustle just because you want to be cheap you know so that's what i have to say about what actually goes on in the vip room um on top of that um i've had customers just massage me in the vip room i've had customers rub my feet in the vip you know i've had customers talk to me tell me no no just sit down i don't want you to dance like please don't dance please 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 don't take your clothes off i just want to see you sit here and talk to you and here is 300 500 thousand two thousand dollars like literally so you have to believe that it's possible you have to believe that it's worth it you know you should not be satisfied coming home with three to five hundred dollars per night when these guys are saving thousands of dollars nine times out of ten these guys have thousands of dollars in their checking account and they're just being cheap so it's part of the hustle you have to convince them to get in the vip room so what i offer in my vip room is really just a fun time uh bub like my personality is very bubbly i'm very seductive you know let's take drinks let's take shots oh my goodness where are you from oh my gosh and then i'll dance and i'll act like i'm so into them and i'm mind you i'm always looking at the time on my watch so i know okay i'll dance for five minutes then take a break talk to them for 10 minutes so you have to be consciously aware of the time and you dance very slowly and that's the main key to keeping them sorry about my cat y'all she literally is so clingy right now she's in heat but um i need to get her spayed so yeah so doing extras is not going to make you to the five thousand dollars per night it's just not doing extras is not going to make you more money it's just not and the girlies they get it get it you know so why do you guys spend that much money if they know they're not gonna da 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 da, -da you know because i don't do that in the club i've never done that in the club why would guys spend that much money it's because they love to take care of girls. They just freaking do. So, yeah. And last but not least, to close out this video, I have to say to the girls who are dancers and are thinking about being dancers, or if you've been dancing for a long time, or not a long time, and you're just not happy with it, you don't find yourself making the type of money you feel like you want to make, you feel like you have to work two to four jobs just to be able to make ends meet you know dancing should be a luxurious experience you are a beautiful woman getting paid to exist is the vibe so when people look at me like oh there's no way you make two, this much money without doing any da 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 okay you know like there are girls who make more than me and and they don't do anything either, you know? Just because a girl makes more than you doesn't mean that she's doing extras. Maybe you are not having the right hustle, you know? Maybe you don't ask for a tip. Maybe you need to work on your sales skills. Maybe you need to stop being a hater and actually ask girls how they do it, you know? Instead of thinking that you know everything, you know? So the girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. And People always say that dancing in Vegas, you have to do extras. People always say you have to do extras and you don't. If you have the mouthpiece you, and you're that girl and you're sexy and you're able to turn on the customers and keep them captivated by your goddess energy, by your feminine energy, then you'll be able to keep them in the VIP for hours, okay? Like most of the time, the guys who stay the longest in the VIP they just like you you know guys have money and they're ready to spend it if you're that girl and if you know how to convince them and if you are good at sales okay period cars don't sell themselves on the lot you have to go talk to someone to buy a car nine times out of ten right so you can't expect your vips to sell themselves 
you can't expect money to just fall out of the sky you do have to sell the rooms and you know how to get them to get more time upgrade more time with you get a bigger room okay y'all so sorry that the camera angle changed real quick but i just wanted to say something real quick while i'm editing this video so a lot of girls say like oh they don't tell you what you really have to do in the vip this is what you really have to do in the vip to make money and i just wanted to say one more thing which is that the the club especially the gentleman's club is a very exual type of environment okay let's face it we're grown okay i'm not gonna sit up here and be like oh we go to the spicy club and we all just sit around and we just dance like this and it's fun you know we do give lap dances your goal in a lap dance is to turn the guy on you know it's to make them feel something you know so with that being said yes they're gonna touch you for the most part but don't let them touch you where you don't want to be touched you know but if you work at a topless club expect them to be touching your top area during vip that's completely normal you know now i'm not saying let them grab you or be aggressive with you and i'm not saying i let guys grab me and be aggressive with me but you tell them to stop when you're comfortable with stopping but what they don't tell you about the club i mean it's pretty apparent the club is an actual environment and you're working in this industry your job is to turn them on so you're gonna be dancing sexy you're gonna be making contact with them you're gonna be touching them and that's what you have to do in vips i know some girls don't like to be touched that's fine you know if you don't want to work in gentlemen's clubs, you don't have to. But gentlemen's clubs are where you are going to earn the most money, in my opinion. That's the most consistent. Unless you're working at like a top urban club or a really pop in like club that, you know, does sections. But for the most part, VIPs are a majority of the money. So, yeah, um, I thought this was obvious. Like, I thought we didn't have to say this. Like, we're not all angels and we're all not doing butterflies and unicorns like you are gonna try to get the customer drunk it is an actual environment you're gonna try to turn them on you're gonna try to get them to stay back there as much as you can but you are never ever ever supposed to do extras and i don't do that okay you guys so yeah i just wanted to say that um i love you guys thank you so much for watching this video if you are new here make sure you subscribe to my channel i'll talk to you guys later i love y'all bye